folks. To start out tonight, we are on my test farm. We are going to go to Soznovka in a minute here, but I wanted to see some new mods are out. First of all, we have the version 2 of our infamous forage harvester. Now, this would actually be a good fit for our farm. Um, it looks good. It's a decent model, and it does get dirty. Yeehaw. One of the things they've done to kind of improve this model is that they've um, made it actually cost what it should cost in-game. So it is now about $70,000. It's no longer the cheap $5,000 forage harvester. <laughs> but it's affordable. Um, it's used, obviously. But we can... Uh, well... We'll grab this... Uh, Forge header. I'm just looking at equipment possibly for the future of the Soznoska farm so we can pretend like we flew to the United States, I mean Russia, to purchase. Now the biggest problem with this guy, and it works fine, do that, okay. The biggest problem I had with this originally was that um, this pickup header was always too low. Let's see how this is. Is it better? And you'd get st oh yeah, look how much higher that raises now. You'd get stuck even like when you when you went to operate it. Oh, perfect. Yep. When you'd go to operate it, it would go so low that it would actually lift the harvester up off the ground. So they've fixed that now. That's a really nice feature. So I'm happy with that. All right, so next let's take a look at, um, so that may be on our farm, but they have another one too. This one's a little smaller and a little bit less expensive. We have a four Schritt uh, E282. Uh, the model's pretty crappy looking. This looks like crap. Noble effort, I don't think this is gonna make the cut. I'm pretty picky about my mods, so I think that this one pretty much just gets pitched right away. It's a shame because it's cheap. But it looks terrible. It really does. This does not look like the rest of the in-game tractors. Meep. Next. All right, so that gets rid of that equipment. These are the other headers. Header trailer for the force rit that we're not going to keep. Yeah, these look bad too. Look at the difference. Okay, there's that. There's this. <laughs> there's this. Let's look at the same unit from the Don 680. Okay, this is the 680 version. Look how much more detail. It's not perfect, but it's much more detailed. Uh, little rivets, you know, all the way over to, you know. So this Forshrit is a nice beginner. Like, kudos to the guy that's trying to make this a mod. Um, it's a good first stop. But it's definitely very basic programming, and it needs a lot of work to make it look realistic. It just it's too clean and but i do I do give the author a commendation for making an effort to make something new that's not just in the game. They've gone ahead and changed the color of the wheels. I like that. The green hub is a little wonky, but um in general, this looks pretty good. It just has a ways to go before it before it doesn't look like a cartoon. These guys aren't much better. Uh, look at that, that's terrible. <laughs> the reason why I'm looking at these though is this is a potato harvester, which we're not doing right now, but this guy here is a beet harvester, and I'm looking into this as a possible alternative to the beet harvester we have using the rooster. I wish it was a little bit higher detail. Oh, look at that, walk right through it. But it's not horrible. Is it acceptable for our farm? Oh, the lights look good. That's nice. Front and rear lights. And the reason why I would want to do something like this is because I want to be able to I want to be able to um, hire a worker to harvest the beets. I mean, it is pretty low res. Dang it! It's better looking than the forshrit, but not much. 
It's not bad from the end cabin. I like the kind of... Look at the... <laughs> I like that. Look at that. There's some animations going on. <laughs> it's funny because parts of it look high res and parts of it look low res. The tractor part looks great. The rest of the body looks terrible. Uh, we'll try it out though. We'll see how it does. I kind of... It is definitely um, period or, you know, not necessarily period piece, but it matches some of the other equipment on the farm. But this is really the downside with the mods. You know, most of them don't look very good. Now, this Don 680 looks exemplary. This is a a very nice uh, job, I guess, on a on a, an equipment that's used. You don't see a lot of used equipment in the game that looks good. This one looks the part. It matches the in-game quality, but yet it still retains a used tractor look. And I like that. It, they, It's not perfect by any means. Like this shadow around the... Fender, that's kind of goofy looking. Um, but in general, they did a very nice job with this. It just, it looks good. It's gr it's not great looking, but it's good looking. This, uh, look at those wheels. What was that? Make them white or something. Don't. What is this? What kind of texture is that? Is that like quick, j ludicrous jib splatter? I mean, what? Is <laughs> what were they thinking? Make it white. Sometimes they try so hard on the textures, and they, they're not good texture people, and they just kind of screw it up, so. The roof is a little corny. But it's not It's not horrible. It's, it's, it just does kind of look, you know, compared to the Don, it looks cartoony. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I'm really picky. But we'll try it. All right, so let's head over to the farm. I'll be right back. I've had such a busy week with, um... With our, uh, with Thanksgiving, I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> okay, the first things first, we can get rid of our, since we're going to switch over to that crappy harvester setup, I am going to get rid of our rooster. We don't need it anymore. Once again, look how good this equipment looks. After seeing those and looking closely at them, look at how nice this stuff looks. Whoa, take that weight off, huh? Nope. <laughs> so let's see. It's just it's gonna be hard for me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna save my game before I do it. Uh, we'll let it go for because really the the goal eventually is to get the Gream, the Maxtron, uh, right now. But yeah, the wheels are the same. I mean, it's the same idea. I wish they just could make a higher res model of that thing. It's the only one out there. I like the idea, but it's so low res. <laughs> it's terrible looking. But I guess this will allow us to afford some stuff, too. So maybe we'll be able to get the Forterra, or at least the Proxima, back. And start uh, having arms again for our tractor. <laughs> so we can do some arm things. Because <laughs> we're armless right now. We'll see how much we get. I don't think we're going to get a ton of money for these. If, if I remember right, the Harvester was 88, so it'll be worth like 50. And the chopper, the chopper topper was worth, you know, not that much, maybe 14000 so maybe 10 back for a grand total of 60 Not even enough to buy the forge harvester, gosh darn it. I did get a John Deere pull behind Forager, but it looks terrible. It's like these mods are just... I feel like a lot of them are from the... Uh, 2013 farm sim and then they port them in and they just don't bother to update them. I wish I could figure out how to edit them. Uh, maybe once the holidays start I'll start doing at that and we'll make our own versions of some of these mods and then I can post them up on my website. Try to figure out how to do the textures better because they don't do a good job. So am I going to regret this? I'm probably going to regret this but here we go. I won't regret it monetarily plus my goal is I want to get a harvester there. 10,000. Boy, that was right on the nose. 52, that was below. So 60,000. But I guess 60, so. Uh, I want a harvester where I can just let the guy run and then unload him. So, do we need the Ursus anymore? Yeah, we probably. I should probably keep the 150 horsepower. 
besides, we want to have a lot of tractors for our farm because um, we're going to need them when we start getting people, you know, online. Because this is going to go live here in about a month, month and a half. So we are in, it's the end of November right now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's the end of November already. And then uh, starting in January, probably mid-January, so a month and a half, we're going to take this live. So I really need to have more equipment available for people to use. Um, right now it's pretty much, yeah. What were we doing today? Did we plant? I don't even remember what I did. i got to check my map and see what's, what's happening. What happened? What happened? All right, so let's take a look at the map and see. I'm pretty sure I planted it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> growing. What are we growing? We're growing sweet beets, right? Or sugar beets, right? Yeah. Sugar beet. Cool. So they're in the growing stages, which is where it should be. There's our little trailer. There's our little... Where am I? Okay, I've got one cedar. That's right. So these are going to park here. So we've got four tractors now and the fertilizer truck. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look up at the store and purchase our beet huster. It's under harvesters now instead of beet harvesters. Here's the forager. Yeah, maybe we'll try that out today, too. Though we can't because we need corn, so never mind. <laughs> the forshrit would have allowed us to do that. Um, all right, there's our sugar beet harvester. It's $11,000. So we're going to purchase that ugly thing. And we'll park it like far away from the farm so it's not seen with the other equipment. You said this thing would run. I know it was only $10,000, and it is 45 years old. <laughs> but I expect it to work. We'll just drive inside, and we don't want to look at it, because it's so ugly. <laughs> look at the exhaust. It's pretty quick, too. So I wonder, I guess this probably is a real harvester. I would imagine they really do have these. Maybe, maybe this is a, a, a made-up machine, but it would seem like they would have something like this. Mythical beast. <laughs> I'm so funny. So the beet harvester may be ready for tomorrow. And we harvest the beets. It rides up pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> Getting sick. So I don't. Is there traffic behind me? No, not really. Cool. So we are bringing the crappy equipment to Sosnovka. <laughs> Bring in the crap. Send in some crap. Make it harvest. But bring in the crap. Park it with the other crap. So it doesn't look so much like crap. It's right next to our Russian truck. IFA. Look at the textures on the seat. <laughs> it's like 8-bit Nintendo color. <laughs> this thing looks horrible. <laughs> Dang it. It looks almost as bad as the truck. <laughs> I'm making fun of my mods, sorry. Oh, why can't they look nice like this? Everybody has to go for this. I don't know. I, like I said, it's a noble effort that these people do. They are trying to make things look good. Sometimes they fall a little short. <laughs> I'm very critical. 
It's one of my problems in life. Okay, so we already have a grabber, so we really just need a front loader. Um, so I wish they had a, a major 80 front loader. It would be really cool. Now, that would be a neat mod. We'd be able to have one of these as a front loader. Because I'm sure they make it. But whatever. We don't have it in this game. They didn't give us the option. Hopefully in the next iteration of the farm sim, um, they will allow us to add and remove attachments like some of the mods do. Because it really helps a lot to be able to just... Well... Just leave it. It's fine. Every time you brighten it, he like ends up glowing because he's like red. Real, no, he's really, really white. Oh. He's pasty like Mark. He's pasty like Mark. <laughs> uh, we're going to advance time. It's going to cost us thousands of dollars. Oh, looks like it's going to rain today, huh? Yeah, keep that door closed all the way. Oh, it's the morning again. No, it's still night. Oh, these look like they're almost grown. It's gonna, they're going to be ready in the middle of the night? What? Do we pass a whole day? No. Oh, no, they grew a little more. Slowly doing control R. If you do it all at once, it just, like, totally... Are those ready? Let's see. Let's look at our map. At 9 o'clock in the morning, I don't think they're going to be ready yet. Or, yes, they're ready. <laughs> A little bit more. Hang on. Let's do 11 o'clock in the morning. Because the reason why I did that is because if we look on the map now, there was a strip of them that wasn't ready, and now they're ready. So what we need is this guy. So we're going to start getting into silage here sh soon. Soon. And that will allow us to start making some serious moolah. Huh? What, Rue? No moolah from you. But it's not going to be a prime focus of the, the farm. It's going to be to get ready for us to go live. Because, like I said, I feel like I start, I'm start. i starting to move towards that direction so that we have income coming in. But, like I said, too, we aren't going to be running the server 24-7, so people aren't going to be able just to come here and make gobs and gobs of silage so that we're multi-millionaires in a week. The only time the farm is going to be operating is when we are playing live. So, uh, you know, for those hour to two hour sessions on, you know, one or two nights a week. So the farm will continue to grow, but it will not grow at the amazing, super fast pace that it did for the one-year challenge farm. It's going to be a slower growth thing, which is, I think the right way to do it and make it a little more challenging and a little more involving for everybody so people aren't just in like, hey, what do I do? Uh, I don't know. You know, we're going to have a set list of chores to do every time, so we should, I'm going to try to make it so that we have enough stuff to do for ten players, but we'll see. That might still come slowly. Right now I've got enough equipment for five or six players. A couple of them just driving around in circles looking for something to do, so. <laughs> Let's uh, get that ugly old sugar beet harvester out there. Such a loud startup for a, such an, a uh, non exciting run sound. It's like, pop, 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 pop. Startup's like, rum, 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 rum. Pop, 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 pop. I haven't played Bjorn home in a while. I've been a bad boy. So I think this time, the harvest will go a little bit quicker. Though I have a feeling this thing's going to be need needing to be unloaded all the time. But... Alright, let's. this doesn't turn very well. It's got a huge turn radius. So here we go, we're going to set him on the edge of the field. I don't know how much room he actually needs if he can do three or four rows at a time, but ooh, very nice. There he goes, he's filling right up. It's so crappy looking. I'm gonna see if I can. This will be my first project. We're gonna see if we can reskin the the beet harvester with a better skin, something that looks a little more glossy. Because it should. I want it to match the rest of the equipment in the game. It doesn't necessarily. We can raise the price too if it looks newer. We can make it look, you know, expensive. 
Because that's all XML stuff. Look, it's already 83% full. Yeah, so. So I wonder... Probably what I need to do is... Hmm. Escort him down. The nice thing about this guy is, that, look how tall it is. It's real tall. I mean, he missed one. Jerk. So we're going to have to need... We're going to have to need to... We're going to need to have to... Oh, does he have to be overloaded? Is that worker not able to overload? That's not going to work very well. Or am I just not underneath it enough? Hmm. I get really close. Oh, she is. Really? Whoops. Oh. He's just gonna go. <laughs> Come back. Wait. Oh, you prike. Farging bastages. <laughs> Idiots. Can I unload it with the worker in there? Nope, you gotta unhire the worker and overload. Is it unloading? Is it empty? No, oh, come on. Overload it. What the frick? You really gotta get underneath it, huh? It's not all the way under. Whoa, what's so? Mods. Though I think, if I remember right, one of the harvesters, it, I think it's the potato harvester, does the same thing. So you just gotta unload it all the way and then hire. Deverka. So I wonder if I, I set him rolling and then I hop into my Kirovitz and try to keep up. Come on, come on, come on, Kirovitz. Catch up. As I crush the poor plants under my heavy truck. Okay, will he unload it? Come on, you stupid idiot. <laughs> God. This is not going to work so well. The whole point is so that I don't have to do this. <laughs> oh, you idiot. But it looks like stupidity strikes again, so it looks like I'm going to have to be the one to unload it. Okay, I guess I'm unloading it. So we'll pull this dude up here. That sucks. That really sucks all. <laughs> That's the whole enchilada of suck. When he's full. Okay, you're fired. Get out. So we'll see. This might not be as practical as the La Rooster. Yeah, so this is really just a stopgap until we can afford the real harvester. Because at least that thing has some capacity. And looks nice. <laughs> this thing looks like butt on a pogo stick. Alright, let's see. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> now, one place that you could do this is if you had somebody that could run alongside you multiplayer. Because then you could unload. So maybe this will work out after all. It'll make somebody have to run the harvester, but that's okay. But for now, for my private farm. My private farm. Why am I going to hire a worker? Arthur, you moron. Don't hire a worker. Just do it yourself. I where the center line is. I just keep the middle two on the front. It's not going to be so easy. It's probably easier to do it from the outside. Huh? 
I'm going to run around and grab these. But we missed. Oops, let me turn the headlights on. Nice one, Ryan. There we go. It's funny how the animations on those are always behind. I think I'm picking up my rhythm, though. I think I know how I'm going to handle this. So we're just going to go. We just, we just going to go. Fling those potatoes. Sugar beets. At least I didn't say sweet beets. So we're gonna just do this each time. We're gonna now on the bigger field though. This isn't gonna work. So we're gonna win. The sounds are terrible too. <laughs> It's like the old flight simulator, like the original one with the Cessna. You'd get up to a certain speed to be cruising along, and the, the planes on be like, ring, 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 ring. <laughs> like it's blowing you to sleep. <laughs> oh, I filled up before I even got to the end. Lovely. So that's not even gonna work. What are you gonna do? At least this thing is super tall. Seems like this goes a little faster than the rooster, though. Just we have to keep unloading. I was getting five across, that's why I filled up so much. It's a little more than I'm supposed to handle here. I'm a bad boy. I turned it on, shut it off. Turn it on, shut it off. We'll do four again, because that's a little bit more manageable. Missed. Crap. We are going to have to go back. Oh, we are full. She's. This thing falls up like tomorrow. Stop it, Ryan. Unload these stupid things. Unload them taters. Ooh, unload them sweet potatoes. Do it. Oh, it's not doing it. No, I don't want to start the harvester. You really got to get in there, man. <laughs> this maybe was not such a good idea. Actually, though, it's working pretty good. I'm almost a quarter away, a quarter done with the field so far, and I'm not. My tractor's not flipping up in the air like the does with like it does with the rooster. <laughs> I'm staying on the ground and in one piece. The PKC four. Okay. 
I know, but it's the only one I got. It's just how it is. Dude, it's like that kind of day, Ryan. Sometimes you just run into those. Just leave it. That's fine. It looks good like it is. You got it. You got it, Brosif. Why is it horrid looking? And they're sweaty. <laughs> that's because they got an. That's because they had an outdoor wedding at three o'clock in the afternoon in August. That's what happens. You get haze and white, and everything is blown out, and the dumbest idea in there. Let's have our wedding outside when it's 150 degrees out. It's like, dude. Like, what do you mean by that? Do something for me too. Yes. No. Come on, Ryan. Jerk. Mm, this takes forever. Be nice if you could add a hopper extension or something. There's a trailer. I thought if you could run alongside this guy, all the problems would be solved. <laughs> Hire a worker, run alongside. Or at least have the worker have the ability to unload it himself, but they don't seem to do that, so that's a problem. I could buy a second one of these. I could just hire the workers and then... And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the right deal is. What did you say? I'm talking about this tractor is, has an immune deficiency problem. It sucks. It can't unload itself. It's like really cool, but it's really stupid at the same time. No, you have to manually unload it. So you can't, you can hire a worker, but then he won't unload it. He just sits there. What? It's pretty much worthless. It's not worthless because it's easier to do than the rooster, but... I'm not feeling it, man. I'm not feeling it. He's really slow at turning the hired workers. Do you want to order a pizza, Ryan? Unload it, you idiot. God dang it. Unload the potatoes, you fool. Unload the beets, dummy. I'm here. Stop flashing your light. Just unload it. Oops, I missed. 
chrome buckets. How did he miss those? I can just try to think of ways to make this more efficient. So the downside is if I get another one, I'm just going to be still probably having to stop all the time. sucks too. Whoa, don't be spilling the cereal on my computer there, Ryan. Hey man, you you break it, you buy it. That means $50 for this wedding instead of $100. This is a $50 keyboard. Useless equipment, man. Ay -ay -ay. Well, this might be a good opportunity to see if I still have the rental mod installed. Shift P. No, I don't. Hang on, so I'm gonna grab that real quick and we'll I'll show you a neat a neat mod that you can download. That'll let's return this guy and dump this mod because this sucks. It would be totally great if I could use this, actually use it, but it's not working, so Useless. Okay, I'll be back. Mm -hmm. 